with three former shooters, fishers and farmers MPs running to retain their seats as independents are hoping their defection won't damage their polling prospects. The disunity in the shooters could create an opportunity for the Nationals to claw back some much needed ground and improve the Coalition's chances of holding government. In a triumph that few had predicted, the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party won three seats in the lower house in the New South Wales 2019 election. Roy Butler defeated the Nationals in Barwon, Helen Dalton won in Murray and Phil Donato was re-elected in Orange. But a little over three years later, all three would part from the party. So I still represent the same values and interests. I just can't do it under the Shooters, Fishers, Farmers Party banner. Helen Dalton's departure came in March last year, following a falling out over water management with her colleagues. Then, in December, Phil Donato and Roy Butler announced their resignations after they failed to seize the party leadership from Robert Borsak, who caused controversy by suggesting their former colleague Helen Dalton should be clocked. That was the catalyst or the straw which broke the camel's back. You know, not apologising for some comments or not retracting some comments. Um, we then asked, uh, after he wouldn't do that, we asked Robert to resign. He wouldn't resign. The Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party declined to be interviewed for this story, but leader Robert Borsak made his anger known when asked by Sky News political editor Andrew Clonell. Is it time for you to go? No, well, it's not time for me to go because the reality is that those people have decided in a selfish way to look after themselves. They were elected as shooters, farmers and fishers members, not as independents. Our electorates know that we're not, um, we're not selfish. So I would have been happy to keep doing this job with the shooters, fishers, farmers, but um, that became untenable. The shooters are yet to select a candidate in the seat of Barwon, held by now independent Roy Butler on a margin of 6.6%. The Nationals hope former Country Women's Association head Annette Turner could take the seat amid the dysfunction. At the Nationals campaign launch in Taree last month, members heard the party was in the fight of its life to claw back electorates like Barwon and Murray. We're not done dreaming of what we can achieve for our regions. It will be much more difficult for Nationals candidate for Orange, Tony Mileto, with Phil Donato holding the seat on a 15.2% margin. According to Tony Mileto, it's the cost of living that is the main issue for voters in Orange. They're uh, hemorrhaging money all over the place and uh, we don't know whether that's sustainable to, uh, you know, to keep uh, providing for the families. For the now independents, health outcomes for people in the bush are up there among the biggest concerns. Health is probably fundamentally the biggest issue that I hear on a daily basis. In relation to health services that we have done an awful lot of good for uh, certain seats that we have subsequently lost, unfortunately, for other reasons. The way the numbers are looking right now, a hung parliament is a real possibility, meaning support from independents will be needed to form a minority government. Roy Butler is putting forward a list of demands. I'd be going to both sides and saying, well, what are you prepared to offer us? What are you prepared to offer the seat of Barwon? Kenny Heatley, Sky News.